Okay, so I've already made a Y Tulsi video, pretty lengthy video, but there's one thing that I didn't mention, and uh, one scenario that I didn't mention, and that is, what if Trump decides not to run again for president? Okay, so before I get into this, let me let me say that I'm not saying Trump won't run for president, I'm just saying that it's a possible scenario, all right? All right, so first, why wouldn't Trump run? I mean, you know, you would think, you know, you'd want to run again, you'd want to be president again, so why wouldn't Trump run again? Okay, and the main reason is, I believe, is because Trump does not like to lose. So, I don't know if any of you guys ever played someone like in a board game, card game, video game, or whatever, and you play them one time, they win, and then they're like, that's it, I'm not playing anymore. I won, I'm the winner, that's it, right? Well, Trump is that kind of person. Trump is that kind of person who will win one time and run away with his win. I won, I'm the greatest, so on and so forth, right? And it's like, okay, uh, he likes to win and he hates to lose, but uh, why wouldn't he run again so he could win again? Well, because there's that possibility that he could not win, okay? So if he does win, obviously, he, uh, I'm sorry, if he does run again, he obviously could win, but there's that possibility that he could lose. The better, the better scenario for Trump would be to kind of save face. And if he doesn't run, again, he could always say for to the end of time, well, if I would have ran, I would have won. I would have won easily. You know, the economy's doing great, whatever. For if, if Trump decides not to win, he could use that forevermore and say continue to say, yeah, he would have won. He would beat anyone easily. But if he does run and he loses, he's just going to look foolish, especially if Trump loses to a woman. And so if I were Trump anyways, and I'm looking out for my own interest, you know, uh, in, in which he does, Trump looks out for his own interest, I would not run again. I would look at the poll numbers and, you know, um, just look at the way that things are trending. Like I said in my last video, it looks like there's going to be a female president in 2020. And no, if I were Trump, I would say, you know, I'm probably not going to win again if I run. So I'm going to save face. And I'm just going to say, yeah, if I would have ran, I would have won. I would have won easily. And then he, you can't beat him. If That's the main thing. If Trump doesn't run again, you can't beat him. Just like I said, the person who decides not to play the board game again or the video game or whatever, if they don't play, you can't beat them. And so... That, that's why I think he's not going to run. Okay, so the reason this is important is because, um, you know, I, I, I watch politics and, on, you know, on YouTube, you know, uh, any kind of news site, on TV, uh, talking to people about it, right? And one thing that you hear is a lot of these candidates are running on, well, we just got to focus on beating Trump, whether it's Joe Biden or whatever, their main focus is we got to beat Trump. But they're not talking about, okay, well, that's great, but what if Joe, uh, what if Trump doesn't run? Then what's your strategy, okay? And that could be a bomb that Trump is going to drop on everybody. It's like they're sitting here preparing for, hey, you know, how to beat Trump, how to beat Trump. But all of a sudden, Trump doesn't run. Then what's your strategy? The media is going to come up to, you know, Joe Biden or whatever and be like, hey, your strategy was, you know, we got to focus on beating Trump. Well, Trump's not running anymore. Now what's your strategy? And they're just like, they're sitting there with their thumbs up their butt and like with nothing. And that's why, first, that it's very good uh, on Tulsi's part and whoever's part of Tulsi Gabbard's strategy team, whether it's her sister, her husband, or whoever it is, they've been going with a strategy of, of not going out there and saying, oh, our sole focus is to beat Trump. Tulsi Gabbard is one of the few, if not the only one, who hasn't you know, been out there and be like, oh, yeah, we just got to focus on beating Trump. Tulsi is running on her own merits. And that's going to become very important if Trump decides not to run. Okay? And so, to, to Tulsi Gabbard, or to her sister, or to anyone in the, in the Tulsi team who's watching this, okay? If your focus is to win in 2020, you got to prepare for any scenario. And so, if in your little strategy meetings that you guys have, you're talking about, hey, you know... How are we going to go about to win? How are we going to go about to beat Trump? That's good. That's fine. Okay. But if you're not thinking of, okay, 
well, how can we win if someone else runs besides Trump? I'm telling you, you're messing up. You need to take that in consideration because, like I said, uh, it's not guaranteed that Trump uh, will run or will not run, but it's a possibility, and you need to prepare for that possibility. If Trump doesn't run, how are we going to beat that non-Trump person, whoever it is? And, and if anyone on the Republican side uh, and the strategist team on the Republican side has any kind of smarts, they're probably going to put a female. If they're looking at the trends, like I look at the trends, are like, you know, uh, women, they want, uh, a lot of women want a female president. We need to put some a female on the Republican ticket. You need to prepare for that. So I'm talking specifically to the Tulsi's, uh, to Tulsi Gabbard, you, your sister, your strategy team. You need to prepare for that. So it's at least a possibility, if not a strong possibility. Okay? And also, I'm talking to you, uh, Tulsi supporters or voters in general. Whoever you're thinking about voting for right now, this is where the why Tulsi comes in. Because it's like, okay, um, you're thinking about who could win in 2020. Let's say you pick Joe Biden. And, and a lot of people's concerns are who can beat Trump. That's what a lot of people's concerns are, right? So let's say you, you uh, Joe Biden does go against Trump in 2020. Let's just say, hypothetically, Joe Biden could beat Trump. That's fine. But what if Trump doesn't uh, run? Some, Like I said, some uh, woman um, Republican runs. Could Joe Biden beat her? Maybe not. Very strong possibility not. Like I said, uh, the fact that it's... Trending right now, the female equality movement is very strong possibility that a woman could become president. If Joe Biden's running against, say, a, a younger, say, 50-year-old um, Republican woman, he probably can't win. And especially if his strategy all along has been, oh, let's just focus on beating Trump, and all of a sudden this other person's running, he has no strategy all of a sudden, right? So when you're deciding on, I'm not telling you who you should... Uh, pick vote for and the, for the Democratic nominee but when you're deciding you got to think about this not you got to think about which candidate could not only beat Trump but which candidate could also beat a non-Trump candidate just in case he doesn't run that's where Tulsi Gabbard comes in because Tulsi Gabbard is one of the few candidates if not one of the only candidates who could beat Trump but also could beat a non uh, Trump candidate like another uh, uh, like a female running on the Republican side that's why Tulsi. Anyhow, thank you for watching. And uh, Miss Gabbard, again, if you haven't been watching, good luck. Aloha.